Hey there, this question from 1842 came through Twitter asking about how to make a firefly-like effect with extruded 3D symbology in a 3D map in ArcGIS Pro. And the answer is I don't know, but I tried it and I got something that's kind of serviceable. Now, I don't know if you should make extruded symbols like this in ArcGIS Pro, but I'll show you how, and then it's up to you to, to do it or not do it. Okay, so I'll turn this one off. Here is the layer that I started with. These are city locations in the world with population data. And by default, it lands in the 2D layers group. Just drag it up into the 3D layers. And I'll open the symbology panel. And I'll go very all the way back here. Right? And it's just a single symbol. Now here's the first trick is you have to go into the very symbology by attribute tab and click on this little insane checkbox here, hidden, hidden from you. And it's so cool. What this means is it allows every little feature of a symbol to be tied to data, to be data driven. And that's amazing. Uh, I don't know why it's here necessarily. I'm sure there's a good reason. But anyways, we'll go back here. We'll dig into the symbol. And instead of a shape marker, we'll give it a 3D model marker. And um, I don't want it to be a square positioned like this. And if we go to the gallery, we can see what's available for 3D markers. I like centered cylinder. I'll choose that. And then I'll go back into the properties and um, I'm going to just make it white for starters and smaller and hit apply. See what we've got. Okay. Right now it's not tied to any data. So let's tie this to data and I'll use population as an example. So you get these cute little database icons with a plus sign on them because we checked that um, checkbox a minute ago, the secret checkbox. It's frankly, it's magic. I'll click this and I can assign this to any of the attributes in here, like population. Um, but if I hit okay, watch, watch what happens. It's Pinhead's face from Hellraiser because it's tied directly to population. And there's a lot of people out there. It kind of looks like Superman's Fortress of Solitude. What do we do? Are we stuck with it? Do I have to go in and make a new attribute and do a multiple multiplier. No, check it out. I can do the multiplier right here. So if I click this, I can just look at the formula and say, okay, um, multiply it by 0 0.1, like cut it by a factor of 10. Let's see, still too many people. Let's go back in. We're going back in and I'll open this, say, let's get crazy. Oh, oh, one. Hit OK, apply. Okay. Man, that's that's fun. That's dazzling. I'm you know what? I'm just gonna knock it back one order of magnitude. Bear with me. What's that? A thousandth? So it's dividing the population of that city by one thousand. Okay. Now we're looking at some reasonable needles of population here. Pretty cool. Again, I don't really recommend you use this sort of symbology because it's hard to make comparisons, but I mean, it, uh, it sure looks fun. So let's make this glow like Firefly. Firefly is that effect where you've got a feature and it just has this kind of radial decay. Like it's glowing, like it's a lightsaber. I'll be honest with you. I'm stealing the idea from lightsabers. Let's turn these into lightsabers. How the deuce do we do that? Uh, well, the, the hack for doing it with lines is just stacking up a bunch of lines and making each line thicker and more transparent. So you get this kind of cheat glow effect. And you can do the exact same thing with this 3D column symbol. Check it out. So we'll go to the structure and I'm going to duplicate this and I'll go back to the layers. I'll choose this. I'll choose 
big sky blue and not fully opaque big sky blue okay here is part one of the trick well part two one of the trick was duplicating it part two of the trick is making it really semi-transparent and then part three of the trick is increasing its size see how it look looks like it's encapsulated it kind of looks like it's frozen in a block of ice like that uh caveman in scooby-doo that they find he's frozen in ice manages to thaw out and cause all kinds of fun okay um doesn't look like much now but it's just a cumulative effect we'll just stack these up um i'll do i'll do uh four of them let's see what happens in each one i just increase that height size so it's kind of growing and it's an additive opacity effect so i start let's see what did i start with two three four five and six okay there we go see how it looks like it's well, it just looks like a bunch of layers, but if I zoom out, you get an idea of what we'll get. Kind of a blurry, fuzzy edge. Let's see. Check it out. Pretty glowy, lightsabery, firefly type extruded column symbols in ArcGIS Pro 3D. This is cool. Um, now there's one more step just to crank this all the way to 11 and I am gonna give it a little glowy base. The person asking the original question had a glowy base, which I really appreciated because it's a it's a good step. So I'll go to the structure. And I'm gonna add a symbol layer. Now I'm just gonna add a simple marker layer. Drag it all the way to the bottom. Go back to the layers. Find his layer row. And now I'm gonna dig into this. It's considered a polygon. It's a point marker symbol, but it's a polygon really. And I'm gonna give it a gradient fill. Instead of buffered, it's gonna be circular. And instead of discrete, which is boom, 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 I'm gonna make it continuous because that's awesome. And I'll just give it that, uh, what was it? Big sky blue, 100% transparent, so it fades out. See how we've got a kind of a glow effect? Let's see what this looks like. There we go. Now, I do notice that adding this simple marker symbol on the bottom of my many, many stacks of gradu or, uh, extruded column symbols really slows things down. It's kind of interesting. I like how it looks, um, but it does have a slowing effect on the renderer. It's it's a lot harder for that to render. So um, take that for whatever it's worth. If it, if it means a lot to you, maybe you're gonna do a print and you don't have to rely on people zooming and panning and having it be really snappy, but check that out. There's a firefly styled extruded cylinder symbol in 3D for ArcGIS Pro. Give it a shot, have fun with it. Do a better job than I did here.